Welcome everyone, I'm Prabhin from Microinfinity X and in today's video, I'm going to take you through the NCH video pad editing software. So let's get started. First, when you open your video pad video editor, you would get a tab where you would be having five options to go with. One is the new project where you can create a new project and the second is open project where you can open an existing project from the disk or any project files which are halfway through. The third is the open template. Here, you can open a template to apply to your project, which is inbuiltly given by the NCH video pad editing software. And the third are the video tutorials. Click to get started here. So first, let us see the top tabs available. So here, the first tab is menu. Here, you'll be having file where you can open projects, load projects, save project files, email videos, adding backups, add image videos, add files, batch video editor, launching the other softwares which are produced by the NCH video pad editors. And we have run audio setup. The second option is edit. You can undo, redo, cut clips in sequence. Let us see this in detail later. Then you have clips, tracks, sequences. So don't worry about this. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna just show you all the basics which you need to know. So here, the next tab is home. You get all the menus which is shown here in the tabs splitter over here. So you have home, clips, sequence, FX, audio, export, and at last the suit. Don't worry much, let's get started. First, I want to mention the three tabs available here. One is the video files, next is the audio files, and at last we have the image files. So here, it would categorize all the media which have imported into three sets, that is video files, audio files, and images. Let me open a small video, yeah? And I just click on open. That's it. So to add files, you need to go here to open. So here again, we have two tabs. This is video tutorials, just ignore it. These are the basic two tabs available. One is the clip review. Next is the sequence preview. This clip preview is just to see the preview of the clip. This video and audio track comes under the sequence preview. That is the actual video you want to export. So here, I just drag and drop it here. Yes, so it would be segregated into two categories. The top is the video and down track is the audio track. So it's pretty simple. So here, if you click the clip, it shows in clip preview. And here, if you click the sequence, it shows in the sequence preview. I just play here. You can press directly space or you can click on play button. So I've played it. Next, while I'm at the middle or anything other than the start portion, these three buttons would be enabled for us. So this is the previous frame towards the left. So we just click on it, go to the previous clip edge. If you are having two or more clips, this would take us to the other clip. Here we don't have any clips, so this goes to the starting of this clip. And if you see here, when we are at the starting, these three would be disabled, okay? And we have these. So here, the next important thing to trim or crop would be the split and cut effects. So just we can play. So correctly at this point, if I want to split, you have an option called split. Or for splitting, you can click on L, yeah? So I clicked on L, it's being splitted. So the other option available here is actually you can drag and stop at position so that you get three kinds of buttons available here. One is split the track. Next is set start time to timeline position. So this is start and this is end time position. So here click on start time position so that this point would become the start of that particular video. So I just undo it. So for undoing, at the top, you would be having 
this undo option or else we have a shortcut Control Z just I will click on this it's been undone okay so the next is actually seeing the transitions between two clips so we have these two clips so that we will be having this one go to previous clip edge yeah if we click this it comes to the edge so it's pretty easy so now if you want to add any transitions you can click on here to add video transitions so you can just click that yes so just I would give crossfade and here you can set the duration of your transition so I give 0.5 seconds I select the crossfade so that if you see here it would be ready just I will play now yeah you may have seen that okay so here also you can actually change the duration as per your clip you can just drag on it and I'll just let it here yeah now the transition becomes a little bit slow because you have increased the time so let's play that the effect which we have given is crossfade so that it crossfades after each frame so you can also give any other effects you want so we can give fade just we can try it yeah it actually faded from black and then the next sequence comes on you can play around with the transition it's your wish completely they would be having inbuilt transition and if you want extra transitions also you can just purchase it in nch store so next we will be having audio effects and down you would be having effects you can just click on that and to add effects just click on the plus button we have many effects like amplify chorus compression distort echo equalizer we also have noise removal over here so for this i just want to try noise removal i just click on that here you have gate level in decibel count so here that's minus 20 i just give minus 10 so till minus 10 it would be reducing the voice so if you see here i just click on this you also have an audio tab that is audio preview tab here click on points to set the position that is the gain to positive or negative counts it's like you can put keyframes and you can reduce the noise so just here you can do this manually by double clicking here and selecting the manual effect count again here down and again here up so just experience with this try out many new experimental options let us come to the basic effect we can give to an audio that is fade in and fade out right so you can give this by right clicking here you have fade in fade out cross fade fade entire clip or remove all fades so here actually we have given the fade so i just like to remove all the fades now the default audio would be playing the other is fade in so fade in if we add this it adds to the starting of the clip so we give fade in and here you would be prompt with four options that is from the start of the clip to the cursor position so i just give start of the clip we can start it with a fade and then end it with a fade so that's our task let's do that so here three seconds are given so i give two seconds okay so yeah you can see here it's actually like a hill and then it has default next i would add fade out so i just want to show it to you in a quicker manner so i just split here and then add the noise transition only to this particular audio so i right click here fade out from the end of the clip yes so end two seconds so it went fading out and then it came from fading in okay great so if you think anything went wrong or the fade went wrong so you can just remove all the fades and try it again so coming to the title now 
yeah so if you want to add a title at the beginning of the clip you can just add text over here you have character animation counter drawings and many things like that if you want only the title you can add title over here so if you select this add a new title clip to the project so here i just want to give the count yes starting from one i'll give it to three alignment i'll keep it as center so here actually we'll be seeing directly the file yeah so we have set the count here you can again decrease the duration here while you're dragging it shows the duration one now it's showing 950 so i just keep it nearly 111 yeah fine so we can try playing it again so that this count goes from one to three yeah great now i'll add like a typewriter yes you can select you can place drag and drop where you want it's just a simple interface so here we can just add the title i just give try one okay and here you can actually give the color i color it to white because our background is black and then we can give the size to 20 because it's a small word no problem and also it's a title yes now if we see here it will be written try one okay so here you can also edit the font so it's pre-edited Arial now I'll just go to Castella yeah if you want you can bold it italic and uh, underlined so same as the word settings just now you can play the sequence by pressing space or play button yeah so I'll just keep this at this point so that it would be visible for us while it's fading yeah so it looks like a nice transition yes so I get it here just play it it's completely your creativity you can create anything and now let's come to the speed category so here right click on the video clip and you'd be prompted with the options like change clip speed reverse clip here effect you can also directly go by clicking on this fx button at the lower bottom corner or else you can right click fx you can mute linked audio if it's linked or if you want to unlink the audio from the video you can click this yes zoom to selected clip copy paste cut everything would be available here so now talking about the speed category we can actually change the speed here we can directly enter the percentage if you want like i'll give 150 so that our duration changes here or else directly if you are in a time span you can just give the duration directly so i give four seconds enter yeah so just we can put set if you want to play it in reverse you can actually enable this option so now i don't need the reverse version so i set this okay great if you want to keep it to normal you can just press reset over here or else you can add like five seconds yeah or if you want slow motion that also you can add it goes below 100 so i just like to keep 60 it comes nearly to 11 okay just we can round off it to 10 okay so it comes nearly 69.620 so i give set so if you see the size of the video increases with the duration timeline okay and if you're using a file say for text i just add over here you just add it in this portion and if you see here it comes under the image category 
and you would be having a small check mark over here on top of the clip so that it shows you are using the clip yes so it's a nice indication so that you can know media files you're not using yeah so i did it now you can just click on delete okay great so our video is being finished here so the first we added the transition then comes the slow motion and here also if you see my audio gets finished at this point so if i want to close it i can just drag this in and set at that timeline or else i can directly finish my file over here in the third option so that set end time to the timeline portion if i click that it ends at the corner yes so it has a very simple interface by practicing on this for your next two to three videos you'll be a great expert for this and now i'm going to show you how to export the edited video so you have an export video and before that you can also save your project so you can click on save project and here i just give the same name try one yeah so it would be in dot bpj format you can save that yes so that here it would be showing save and here we have the export video so now we can export our video it would be showing video file 3d video file portable video and you have many other direct export options if you click on youtube it actually asks for the video description video title and it will directly upload it to youtube so now i'll do just the normal video file export so here the first comes with the sequence name that is export file name i'll just give try one and the second option it shows to which folder to save so here i just give pc and videos so i save it here and if you want to set the location you can just set it but but my recommendation is that don't set one location as your default location if you want to change you can just change it over here so now presets here we play with the preset category that is the 720 180p hd 2k and 4k resolutions so this allows us to export till 4k resolution it's a very high quality yes so here i just give 720 for now and then comes the file format it shows the different type of formats you can just use this as a converter also so dot 3gp dot asf avi flv gif apng you have many more like mkv mov mp4 and you can play around with this for me mp4 is fine next comes the resolution which plays a very major role so here we have give, given 720 pixels so it has been set to default like 1280 into 720 pixels so we have this okay so let it remind the same so if we change presets over here 1080 the resolution goes for 1920 into 1080 okay great now we can just give 720 no problem so here you would be having letterbox crop or zoom if you have given any crop or zoom effects you can just enable this no problem and if you have cropped it you can enable stretch option here while you're exporting so now i go with letterbox i didn't use any of crop zoom or pan fx here you have the frame rate so this it goes smart max 30 frames per second let it be the same no problem here subtitle if you have subtitle you can put it like overlay or you can hide the subtitles yeah the subtitle and other advanced option i would be talking in the second part of this video okay so at the last option you would be shown with the estimated file size yeah this is just an approx so no problem and then at last you can give create so that a new panel called export queue comes into preview so it actually 
exports the video it will be showing the video portion at which frame it's being exported and then how much percentage export is completed and also at the top you would be notifying with the frames per second and the resolution which you have been exporting the file okay now it's completed and after exporting you would be shown show in folder play and remove so here if you click on show in folder the folder where you actually had exported the video that would be opened now we can just play the video yes so all the fx transition as well as the speed which we have given is perfectly matched with the export so no problem if you want to directly play you can play here and then you can remove it here so no problem okay guys so that's all for today's video i would meet you guys in the more advanced version in the part 2 video and also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this